What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. We're on the new computer setup. Hopefully, it's running as smooth as butter. No audio or image issues. But if there are, the market waits for no man, woman, or child here in the bargain basement of YugiTube. Cable management later. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with what Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel's ban list is doing to the TCG. Dragon Rulers, as Sam once said. We've got Redox and Title off their list. And the secret rares are, yep, up in sales. And in fact, you have to go download more stats to get to yesterday and the days before and last nights, of course, when things hit the fan a bit. Redox is probably the more generic overall where title is being talked about for Mermail. And then you have Gishki, I suppose. And then, of course, Dragon Link for everybody. But yeah, there is a good, good amount of sales on both Secret Rares. The rares still exist, though. And when we did see, you know, Blaster come off, it actually kind of just flopped down in price instead of going hype towards that list overall I feel like and that's results oriented and also a lot of people held to end up selling for a ban list so I don't know how these are going to exactly perform and do over time but they are some of the best dragon rulers and we're on the list for the longest time for that reason Zodiac Barrage is getting a little on its original movement but yeah Zodiac the next Zodiac people really do love this deck but not the most movement even on the OG G here and then monkey board yeah absolutely zero movement it's just another day in pendulum land nobody even bought a super rare in reaction to that mainly because you know we're already over here we're fine it's it's monkey board there's not going to be movement from that ban list to this card and pepe is not taking off anytime soon full power baby the cosmo was underexplored in that format now what really has me scratching my head though is how money is moving after Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now, I do know some people got their bonus bucks yesterday and today. And with that, we're seeing the top end cards bought out where the savings would have been more maximum during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And I would have expected these cards to hit their ceiling then. No, it's yesterday. Full buyout on 25th SP Little Night. Look at all that money moving. It's actually insane. Sales at 500. Max sales on this card. And now it's, you know, listed lowest near 600. And really reaching that new pinnacle where people are scared to invest in Starlights in the market. Oh, cards are going to just get reprinted in the same rarity again. Auto Faith restored and people going ham, expecting this to be the one that lasts a long time. Other stuff in Age of Overlord was selling out too, but I do want to compare this actually because you have IP Masquerina here, also for its quarter century specifically, going up in price and selling out, while the Starlight Rare was relatively stagnant, one sale at all through the sales, and... Yeah, it's still, you know, trying to tread water at a very high price. Trusted sellers may be getting the bigger sales. It's around $800 available, and some of those sales are above that. So I guess taking the discount just to go with trust, bro. But yeah, the quarter century rare matches and is also starting to skyrocket in price. Well, Bestial Lubellion and a ton of other quarter century secret rares like Sky Striker, Mobilize, and Gage. And we've already covered terraforming and Super Poly. Tons of new buyouts through here, but I really did want to focus more on the meta and togetherness and where it's going. And it is going up during the winter like never before. Black Friday usually causes them. I've never seen this the week after Black Friday. Usually it's just chill through like Christmas and it's tough to find cards. They're all over the place today. And Snake Eyes here, it's also going way up in price, both for, uh, is it Flamberg? I'm, I'm just guessing. It's my job to murder names as a Yugi tuber. But it is up for the quarter century secret rare, as well as just the easy access secret rare, which ain't that easy. There's not a lot of them per case. 2.4 average, you're less likely than more likely to see a playset with an entire 12 box booster case. Yay, ratios. This is going way up in price. You could have got this at $3. Now they're 12 plus dollars, actually lowest 13 at this point. Also, I called this one mad early. Super Star Slayer here is going back up in price for the ultra rare. And also it's quarter century is on like full buyout mode. Again, today and yesterday, the sales are accumulating throughout the week after the bonus bucks pack. Now, Centurions, their names would make you think they're cheap, but they're very expensive, of course. The 
uh, I wanted to say quarter century rare again. It's so hard not to. Collector rare here for Stand Up Centurion is on full buyout mode, and a lot of the collector rares are on less than double digit listings. And the cards themselves got bought out or targeted heavily during the sales on Black Friday and Cyber Monday because people just want access and they don't want to have to go into the boxes. It's not good estimated value to case dive overall into these so this deck keeps going or treading water at a very high price and the high end of it is going up a lot now we got three buyouts in legendary dual soul burning volcano here we have salmon great salmon great raging phoenix and it is going up for you might guess by its effect fire kings it's completely generic to make as well two plus fire effect monsters its bonus does let you add one salmon great card from your deck to your hand if you were to you know link with itself and that kind of stuff but if a face up fire monster or monsters you control is destroyed by battle or card effect while well, this card is in your graveyard you can target one of those monsters special summon this card and if you do this card gains attack equal to that monster's attack so it's good recurrence it works within the theme all that stuff battle and boxer king dempsey has been going up for some time and is floating up in a very good price this goes with warrior yep noble knight engine rather than really battle and boxer and then volcanic trooper I'm not going to front. I don't know why this card is up when I read it. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one volcanic card from your deck to your hand, which is great. You can discard the one card, special summon one bomb token to your opponent's field. Each time one is destroyed, its controller takes 500 damage. I mean, yeah, you can add a volcanic card from your deck to your hand. I feel like there was a card that already did that. Maybe I'm missing something. No, that's a blaze accelerator, isn't it? Okay. Read and answer your own questions live market research but yeah that does seem actually pretty darn good and is it uh ultra rare i'm guessing as well yep ultra rare we we learn together sometimes brave eyes pendulum dragon the discord didn't know the exact reason i'm gonna guess by the materials a pendulum dragon monster and a warrior type monster that it's a pretty good super polymerization card that may haps let me know if there's another reason why this is getting bought out though because it is towards its max price of twenty dollars and only has the one printing cash tira fenrir is on a huge buyout mode here over time it's pretty natural how it's increased and the main reason is short print and nobody wants to open megatons in fact black friday and cyber monday did nothing for these as sellers might have hoped and as many buyers hoped they were going to get them cheap through that season look at the actual sales through here because a ton of people waited and a lot of them were at 10015 tons actually flew at 120 but yeah they're available here again at 110 dollars still in a lot of them are 100, under 120 where they were. So this is one of the worst sealed products in terms of tens of all time, except we've had a couple other years that were real stinkers recently as well that are doing pretty much just as bad, but not this quickly, despite our pro promo singular within here trying to give some value back. And the cards inside, they're just not doing lifting outside of Fenrir and a few others. I think there's like five cards over $5. Yeah, that's where we're at four. Four cards over $5. Oh, man. Sometimes you just don't know where a Yu-Gi-Oh! product's gonna go. But the Megatons need a lot of freaking help in the future if you're watching this konami thanks for watching today's market watch i know it is a quicker one i plan to try to do more monday and gather through the weekend but i've been setting up uh we also have the new channel banner up i actually found it it's old the holiday banner if you go look at the home page thank you so much for watching and being patient and amazing i really couldn't do it without y'all the way that it is and my sanity fully intact because Y'all are awesome. Thank you.